This video is a bit of an amalgamation because uh, it's going to be on my um, collar, my adjustable collar making jig. Um, I use it um, for making, uh, starting off collar shapes, but you can use it for all sorts of things. So here's a uh, fly press version and here's anvil version. Uh, the, these blocks here are actually the same as these ones. This is an older version that used to go with another anvil and when I got my bigger anvil I made um, this one, these ones to uh, suit this anvil and I find that this, I think these are like two inch wide, one inch deep blocks I think. And set this way, it's a little bit deep, I don't think you really need it that deep but I'd already gone to the effort of making it, uh, or sort of part making it, so I thought, what the hell, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. Um, so the basic theory is that they're two blocks with uh, drilled all the way through, with threaded rod passed all the way through, and then, you know, you can undo these nuts and slide them in and out. Uh, this one has a, a hardy shank on the bottom, so it's slotting down into the hardy hole. These ones... Um, you can see I keep a very tidy area around my fly press. Uh, get held either side by those, so you you know uh, undo the nuts at the back and open them, and then lock that down. And that stops it from shifting. Um, so this uh, duh, 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 this let's start at the beginning of calculating collar material length. So. Um, uh, I've half forgotten what I've already said, so I'll just repeat myself now and say this is an amalgamation because this collar that I'm making um, now and this this mandrel and everything doesn't actually relate. I'm going to um, sort of splice in some older footage of collar making. Um, so this is a, just a little sort of traditional kind of gate that I'm working on. There's a little collar up here and it is collaring together some uh, 8 mil bar and some 10 mil bar so I have um, a mandrel here, a mandrel being the sort of generic word for a, a former um, so this isn't, this is just, uh, what am I trying to say, I don't know um, a mandrel can be any kind of former, this, this thing here I'm holding in my hand isn't like the only kind of mandrel anyway so what you do is you make up um, your mandrel using the two types of bar that you're going to be using and this isn't actually the the collar material that I'm using but it was lying there so I'm going to use it so you one way or the other lay this on the end and you roll it two three four and you mark it here and then you add on twice the collar material thickness and that will and then you can cut it off so I have done that over here with this one and that will give you the length of material you need to form your collar so um, I could kind of just stop here and then intersplice the other footage but what I'll quickly say is on this one um, so here's like that um, so this comes out hot from the fire or gas forge or whatever put it there on this one pull the arm round that sends down that squishes it up into a U shape and then I ditch all this um, I get all this uh, jig out of the way and I form it around the mandrel just with this doodah, which I've put some um, kind of radius edges on so it doesn't bite in. Um, you can do the same basic thing, you know, if you want to do it this way. This is going to be um, what most people, I imagine, um, would make a version of um, if you don't have a fly press. It's, I've used these for um, far more than just collar making. They're really useful, for example, if you, you can't bloody trust, you can't buy steel straight, you know. Um, so, you know, you, you go and try and start making something, you see the bar's pissed anyway, so you've got to straighten up the bar, and so what you can do is you can undo these and open that out to any kind of required distance to straighten up the bar, or if you just want to put a shallow curve in a bar or something, you can open these up, and again, put a radius on these, 
on these blocks so that you're not like scuffing um, your work. And then they're just really good for all sorts of stuff. I mean, I'm pretty thick as it goes and I think these are about the best lady thing I've ever made. Right, that'll do.